Uh, welcome to my house. We are in the basement. This is my first installment of what might become a series. Um, okay, so this is why I'm doing this. This is the basement. You can see here these are the columns that are holding up the main beam, which is this single beam that runs from the front to the back. So over here, um, it's probably why the Heath's house was so cheap, was because, we'll start with this one, hang on. So this one here is rotting, you can't really see that. So it's been rotting and it's now propped up with this um, steel member and two columns. So that's actually pretty solid now. Then we've got the chimney here. This is the chimney. Um, and that's rock solid, so that's great. Here we get to the problems. There's been some remediation done. And this timber column, this puny little piece of wood, is holding up the entire house in this like area here. Um, it's in okay shape, but as you can see, it's been just set in the ground um, with concrete and it is rotting. It's rotting away at the bottom. So that's slowly sinking into the ground. Um, this one here, rusty, rusty column. Also dissolving into the ground. No rust protection or any that was is long gone. This one here, this one here moves. So I assume when they jacked up the house last time, this one got the load taken off it and it's no longer doing anything. I mean, it's a good backstop, I guess, if these other ones fail. So this is, now this one here, it's really concerning. See these cracks? That is from, I think, the stress of this one column, this one here. I just put this one in as like a kind of rudimentary fail safe, just in case. Um, but this one is taking the load of the house, which is a two-story house, from the front all the way past this one that's moving to this rusty one. So from rusty to the wall is all being taken by this one that is slowly splintering and could theoretically explode any minute um, and collapse the front of the house. So I this is my priority number one is to fix up these columns and this main beam, I mean, it's in rough shape. It's in multiple pieces at this point. It would have originally been either a single timber or um, jointed cleverly so that the load was distributed. But at this point, it's just been kind of fixed in patches here and there, and it's no longer what it once was. So I need to jack up the entire house, um, put temporary columns in either side of this main beam, and then cut the main beam out with all the joists supported by the temporary columns and then replace it with a nice big run of either steel or structural timber. And I'm not sure if that's something I should do myself or engage a professional, which I mean, a job this big, this size could run 40, 50 grand. I don't really don't know. So I might get an estimate and yeah, we'll take it from there. Anyway, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.